Welcome to Landry Anc on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. So this, this camera is way too close, but I have to hold it uh, because I don't have my, um, my tripod. Because I'm traveling right now, I'm at Dr. Joe Dispenza's advanced workshop here in, and I'll show you, the beautiful, yeah, this is my balcony. <laughs> This is actually what I'm looking at in the morning. Isn't this gorgeous? So, um, yeah. I was out in the sun probably a little bit longer than I should be, but that's okay. And then I had electrodes on my head this morning. I haven't, haven't uh, washed all that out, but I want to talk to you about something really important. I met unbelievably incredible people today, and it really brought something to light and that is there are so many awakened beings on this planet that struggle with that because when we come down here there's a veil that you know comes over us we really don't understand what we are and sometimes we're extremely sensitive to the plight of the planet and we know what our mission is but we don't really sometimes that's not clear so a lot of us spend time trying to just fix other people. I want to name this video, Just Let Go. You're not here to fix anybody. You're here to assist people. You're here to be the tool. You're here to be the guidance. But when you want everything to be right, you're missing the point. The point is we came down here to experience things ourselves. Sometimes to go to very deep, dark places. Now, we all get choice to help each other. So we might get the opportunity to be the lifeline for somebody else who wants that and reaches out. But so many of us are really trying to be the savior to somebody who really just wants to suck our energy. And even the Dalai Lama says, walk away, and that you know, being awakened doesn't mean you don't experience, like, feelings. In fact, sometimes you can be more sensitive. I know I cry a lot at beauty and sadness. I'm just so sensitive because the veils come down. But I want to just share this with you because I just see so many of you wanting to fix everything when you haven't really, you know, fixed yourself. There's nothing to really fix. You just came down here to experience. Can you really be okay with that? Can you be okay with that? Just the experience? And to raise your frequency, to be the best that you are in your role. And you are not a coincidence when you run into other people that you connect with for whatever reason. These are all opportunities in the most profound way and you aren't here to save somebody else. In fact, you, the awakened person, might benefit even more from helping the person who comes to you that may not be as awakened as you. This is your opportunity to raise your frequency even higher. So I'm not gonna get into this because I've talked to you about this Dolores Cannon is the multiple waves of people that come down here to raise a frequency. You may be one of these people who came down here to raise a frequency, but I'm going to tell you something. It's a big job. It's a big one. Can we just focus on being our best selves and letting go? Can you let go of the person that's acting badly and not judge it? Can you let go of the person that doesn't want your help? that you see all this potential. Oh, you know, I can be, and you could be, let it go. They don't want to be that. Can they, you know, that's your lesson. Can you allow them to be that? The bad person. There's no bad or good, right? Can you allow them to just experience what they need to? And if they come to you, be there for them. Be the guide, be the tool, but don't be the fixer. Can you let go? Maybe that's your lesson. 
maybe you're gonna you're getting all these people that need your help because you need to learn how to let go and just let them experience this being human because you're judging that it's bad it's not bad yeah they may have to come back a few times let them maybe they die my whole family died it's not doesn't feel good they're not gone they transitioned they're learning a lot on the other side it's not good nor bad it's a choice that they made and we can be there for them and just say I love you I'm gonna be here a hundred percent for you and I'm not gonna judge you even if you choose to do things that are maybe destructive now no you're not gonna stand by and watch them destruct the world or destruct things you know, you need to step. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that maybe you don't approve of how they're behaving. Or maybe they don't think good of themselves. Okay. Tell them they're beautiful and be there for them. But don't be so caught up in how they're feeling and what they're doing. Be okay with that. They're experiencing stuff just like you have. Who's to say you're in a better place, more awakened state? And maybe you are, maybe you're very sensitive to all this stuff. All right, just be sensitive. Experience it. Be okay with just experiencing it. Don't get caught up in it. When you get caught up in the feelings and the experience of sadness or just this world is so screwed up, and then you are the ego. You're the ego responding, right? So we have to let it go. Let it go. Be your best self. Be here for people. That's all you can do. Work on you. Be your most awakened state. And when you get there, you'll be okay. You'll be okay with what other people choose. Yes, there'll be sadness. There'll be triumphs. There'll be whatever. Oh well, we don't ever die. We just transition. Be okay with that. Yeah, there will be pain along the way, but there doesn't have to be suffering. Suffering is when you want things to be different than they are. You didn't come down here to feel that. You came down here to be your best and raise the frequency, frequency of this planet. When you do that, you did your job. And guess what? There's abundance and joy that comes with that that's off the charts. And you'll experience that when you let go of everything, of expectations for yourself, for others, of what this world should be or shouldn't be. It's all part of the experience. We'll never understand it, not until we go back to the one. Don't try to. It's okay. So. There's some beautiful light beings out there that are suffering because they see the best, they hope for the best of this world. And if they can let go, then they will elevate their energy and raise the frequency of this planet because they'll be accepting. And acceptance is knowing that everything is okay and that we will all be back to the one at some point and we need to be okay with whatever needs to experience what it wants to. Can you allow that? I know it's tough, it's tough. So I'm gonna give you another view. Oh my God, I look so, I'm burnt. I'm like fried. All right, I don't, it's not painful. Um, I am going to get ready for Dr. Job's